Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the Badass Reviews. And today I'm going to take a look. It's going to be kind of like a play day or something like that. Just to show you all the different figures and configurations you can get out of Savage Crucible Wave 1, the Lemurian figures or the Lizard Man. And um, man, this line is so awesome and I'm so into this line. And uh, this is gonna be kind of like a long video, maybe short, who knows. Um, but I just want to show you a little bit of what I feel about the line, um, the the goods and the bads about the line and everything. Uh, because nothing is perfect in this world, right? Like, um, imagine that. But this is pretty close to perfect. So, I just want to point out, I believe my favorite out of all the characters on the wave one is going to be Nin Villemir, this guy right here. He looks kind of like a dinosaur guy or something like that. Let me put him close to the camera. Uh, he looks really badass. I really love the look on him, that dinosaur kind of look, menacing. I really love the color also on the armor is really different armor than the rest of the figures. Let me focus a little bit more on him. Let me see, let's focus, focus on Vladimir right there. So he looks really badass, man. I really love the look on him. Um, pretty awesome. I already went over the articulation and everything. I just want to point out the look on this guy because I want to do kind of like a whole, um, kind of like okay so these are all the figures and what you can do with them how you can like my way to play with them and everything so pretty cool i love the armor on him i love the tail that has an armor also really cool i love this little uh, pouch with some type of liquid that he had there which is really cool i love his weapons also they're really unique to the character really awesome um and he's the tallest one, I believe so, out of all the, 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 the guys. And the other two that I really like a lot uh, is, ah, man, I think mm, the conclusive sentry and the royal guard. Uh, these two are really similar. They share, actually, the same chest armor uh, yes, the same chest armor and the loincloth, and uh, also the shoulder pads. But the um, gauntlets and the chin guards, they're different on these two figures. As you can see, this is a sentry. Let me put it here, and let me put now the royal guard. It's like more like serpent style um R word there, which is really cool, really awesome. And of course, there are different colors. This is black with some white stuff, and this is kind of like brownish. Now, if you have the accessory pack, you can switch the look on these figures. I think you can have kind of like this style of head, which is, let me show you, uh, it's kind of like an open crest on this one you have that option and on this one you have more like a dinosaur look uh, which is really cool also and uh, this right here is the exclusive for the kickstarter but i believe you're gonna be able to get him um in different uh, toy conventions so yes oops that guy fell fell off right there uh, so yeah i love the look on these weapons on the sentry and they look like lightsabers. They look really cool. Um, really awesome weapons on him. He's kind of like a unique character, really specialized. It's kind of like a SWAT team guy for the Lumerians. And I really love the look on him. And, but I will say after, let me put this guy up. Uh, let me bring this guy right here. So I will say, um after Nin, I think my favorite uh, man is so hard. I think my it's so hard because 
I went, I came into this line not because of the lizard guys or Lemurians. I came into this line because of the barbarian guys. But ah, man, I ended liking a lot this guy. So let me go ahead and focus over there. Let me go ahead. I believe, uh, let's put Nin here. I believe my second favorite will be the Como of the Isles. And um, this guy is a hybrid between a lizard man and a human. So let me take this mask. This mask is so badass. It comes in the uh, weapons pack, accessory pack. Really awesome. And it fit this guy right here. And let me focus on him now. So let me right there. Look at the face. So much detail. He looks kind of like humanoid. Look at the holes there for his ears. And I love the look on him. His feet are a little bit smaller than the rest of the guys. And, and I love the look on the armor. It looks really unique. It's kind of like very organic type. The other guys is more like a regular metal armor. This guy, everything on him is kind of like organic. It looks like shelves from crabs and stuff like that and, and teeth from animals from the beach and stuff like that because I'm assuming this guy lives in an island, right? So he looks pretty similar. Also, it reminds me those uh, iguanas from the um, ocean. They're like dark color and they're like, uh, the face is very different than the regular iguanas that you can find on um, around here. Actually, in Florida, you have a lot of iguanas, the green ones. Uh, but this guy looks like a black iguana from the ocean. I think that was kind of like the um, intention. I love his weapons. They're unique for him also. Pretty cool. Look at this axe. Man badass so much detail on this sculpting and paint ups look at this sword damn it looks really similar to has like a crow here and i don't know what else uh, it looks really badass it's like conan sword or something like that it looks pretty pretty cool and he comes with this little pouch here with some type of liquid i don't know what he has there uh, really really cool so i will say um, yeah, my favorite is Nin. After that, I think it's Como. Really cool. I love the fact they did with uh, what they did with the armors because the armor has like a uh, articulation. As you can see here in the back, you have the pegs right there and also on the shoulder so you can move the uh, articulation on the shoulder pads at will. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty awesome. Uh, I will say out of the characters here i will say my second favorite one will be hmm i think will be the royal guard i love the royal guard let me move sentry out of the way let's put him around here and let's put como here and let's move you here and let me bring the royal guard so royal guard really awesome I love the look. Black, one of my favorite colors. Uh, pretty, pretty cool looking figure, man. I love this figure. It looks so badass. Let me see if I can, sorry, I move my camera. Let me see if I can open the mouth right there. Wow, it looks so cool. I really love the look on this figure, all the weapons that he comes with. Let's put you here. Uh, pretty cool. I really love the look on him. That sword man badass swords and you have these ones on the back that you can store there on the little sheath really really cool i love the look on this figure man he looks so menacing those colors man i think they killed it with the colors i mean nikki nicole eric miller great job on the colors on these figures they look amazing incredible really really awesome uh, I think my fourth one will be the Sentry, which is the exclusive from the um, from the Kickstarter. And after that, I think the um, the Slate, which was the one I review. Thank you so much again, Savage Crucible, Harbinger Studios team, for sending this figure for me. And I believe I was the 
only one on YouTube who actually reviewed this guy ahead everybody else. And when all the, the YouTubers uh, got their figures for review, everybody got Sentry, everybody got Royal Guard, everybody got this guy, this guy, and the Savage, but nobody was uh, reviewing this guy, just me. So I'm really thankful for that. I don't know if it was intentional or just good luck, but really cool that I was able to review this figure. I was so excited because this is the army builder for them, the most basic figure, but at the same time, I was so happy because I was able to uh, prove all the articulation and all the sculpting and everything. So this figure has a little place on my heart. Uh, I love him. I love him. And um, really cool. And also with the weapon pack, man, you can make this guy look like this. Check this out. Let's focus a little bit more right there. Look at this, man. You can change the loincloth. You can change the wraps on the hands, on the legs. Man, you can put this thing on the back, the shoulder pads, everything, man. You can put like the whip there on the back. He has the map. Check that out. It's incredible the shield, everything about it. And you can, if you want, um, I think the weapon pack doesn't have a face that match him, his color scheme, but I think there's one that you may be able to try on him. I wanna try later. And the Savage um, Lumerian, let me bring him right here. And this is one of the alternate face for the weapons pack or our sex accessory pack. Eh, man, so badass, I love it. I love this look, really awesome. I put this whip here, he doesn't come with that. Man, that accessory pack, and this is another one. This is the face, the actual face that comes with him stuck. Let me put these guys on the back. Stuck with him, uh, really awesome too. Let me focus more on him so you can see all the detail on this guy. Pretty awesome. And I put the thing here on the back, that's really cool, man really awesome man i really love this line actually again as i said uh, i wasn't about the lesser guys but i went all in on the kickstarter supporting rob you know like kevin dallis which it, kevin dallis is again kevin dallis is one of my heroes from back in the days moto classics and um, such a great guy a uh, really cool guy uh, i mean really awesome guy i mean rob nikki nicole eric miller great 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 guy i'm i'm hoping to have eric miller and toy attic 26 with our show and um, toy attic anonymous or nikki nicole we already have rob back in the days we may have rob again just to you know talk about the line and everything and what people say or, or think about the line uh Pretty, pretty cool, pretty, pretty cool. So uh, what I really love about all of this is like now we have so many indie companies making action figures, fantasy action figures that is insane, man. It's insane and it's really awesome at the same time for us collectors and really bad for our pockets. Uh, but yeah, but really, really cool, really, really cool. So I just wanna, let's put these guys a little bit on the back let me put this guy here right there and yes and como right here i want to put como there and the sentry is gonna be right here and let me put this guy right here so let me uh, let me see i can put this guy right here yep it looks good i think so and let's put the royal guard right there perfect so what i was saying about the toy lines is like you know what like i love mythic legions mythic legions is one of my favorite lines ever since forever i support i went all in from day one in his their kickstarter for horseman studios jeremy and everybody cornboy everybody uh, uh, eric man everybody at the team is amazing the community also really really cool and really amazing uh, man i have so many good friends they're like family to me and the mythic legions community man is incredible walter hagen 
everybody, dude, everybody, Steven Mank, uh, man, you name it, a lot of amazing guys, and here you have Mythic Legions, I have the um, Valiant Knight, which is one of the best figures in the world, um, so, so cool that we can put these figures together, and they look like pretty much from the same toy line, so you have this knight fighting all these lizard guys, which is amazing. I really love that. I really love the fact that you can mix and match in your collection. And the cool thing about it is like pretty much everybody that collects Savage Crucible also collect Mythic Legions and also collect Masters of the Universe. So it's kind of like a big, big community, a big, big family. And I really, really love that. So there you go. And man, this figure is so badass. Let's put... Let's put the Valiant Knight around here. Let me fix this a little bit more. So let's put Nin around here. Let's put this guy right here. And let's put now the Valiant Knight here. So you can see he can mix perfectly with Savage Crucible. Let me bring now the Conan the Barbarian from Mesco Toys. And man, look at this. How amazing they look, right? <laughs> they look like the same freaking line. And that's awesome. That's what I like about mix and match. And this is an awesome figure, man. This is one of my favorite figures in my collection is this Conan right here from Mesco. Such a badass figure. I'm a huge Conan fan. That's why I was all in on this line because I know they have some barbarians that it's gonna they're gonna come in wave wave two. You need to check those figures because they look amazing. Also, let me bring from Four Horsemen Studios, Cosmic Legions. Let me bring Walter, Walter the Mad, or Walter Hagen homage right here. And you can put kind of like a savage lizard from man any planet fighting walter where he's like investigating in some random planet boom right there and that's really cool too if you can see they look pretty pretty awesome together too so that's awesome too i love that and you can bring also frisetta girls sarah frisetta how's everything you make one of the best amazing lines ever which is icons Frisetta icons right here. Dark Wolf. Let's put Walter on the back next to the Valiant Knight. And let's bring Dark Wolf from Frisetta Girls icons, collectibles right there. Look, he looks pretty much, pretty much in the same line with these guys. Check this out. Let's put Sentry next to him. Look at that and tell me they don't look amazing together, right? Of course they look amazing together. So now let me bring something different. Let me bring one of the most amazing action figure lines in the world. And I always said this, and I will always say this, one of the best quality figures I ever have in my hands. From my brothers, from... Spiro Toys, Jason and his team right there. Pale from A Walk, Animal Warriors of the Kingdom. Man, if you don't collect this line and you don't know about this line, you better start checking this line. A Walk, Animal Warriors of the Kingdom from Spiro Toys. Awesome, awesome figures. You can throw this figure from... Uh, 60 floor building and nothing is going to happen to that figure. Trust me. So resistant, man. And the articulation, insane. So let's put Pale right here next to Valiant Knight and next to Walter. And let me bring now, uh, let's change Dark Wolf space right here. And let me bring now Marvel Legends, uh, Black Panther. So Black Panther can fit perfectly with common all these guys too. You can pretend Black Panther is fighting. Oh, I'm sorry. I put you down. Black Panther can fight this lizard man from the mountains. 
right? From his kingdom. Right there. Pretty, pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. I love that. I love mix and matching in my collection. I don't know about you guys, but I love that. I love that. So let me bring now, let's put, oh, I mean, this is crowded. So let's put these guys a little bit more towards the back. Let's put this guy right here. This guy right here. Let's put this other guy right here. And we are setting everything for you guys. Let's put the sentry around here next to Dark Wolf. And let's put Como right there. Let's put the Slate here. Valiant Knight a little bit more towards the back. Let's put Walter here. And I think I have space now. So let me bring Masters of the Universe. Yes, let me bring Masters of the Universe. Let's put Pale a little bit this way. So let's put him in here from Masterverse. And again, he can fight a lizard guy. They look amazing next to each other. I love this He-Man from Mattel. Awesome figure. Awesome, awesome figure. I love this figure. Pretty cool. They look amazing together. Let's put He-Man here in the back. And let me bring now Nora Toys Monkey King. Look at that. Tell me he can't fight this guy. Awesome. Yep. Amazing. Let's put Monkey King around here. Let me bring now um, NECA toys, Dungeons and Dragons. Look at this. Whoa. Again, he looks awesome with this toy line. Man, it's incredible. It's incredible. I love this. I love this. I love everything about it. So let's put this guy right here. And let me bring, why not? Let's bring Lionel from Super 7. So he can fight some mutants. So that's it. Really, really awesome, right? Really cool. Man, you can mix and match and do whatever you want. Really cool. I love, I love all these toy lines. I love Super 7. I love Mesco. I love AWOC. I love Mythic Legions, Cosmic Legions. I love Masterverse. Man, icons, collectibles from Frisetta Girls. NECA toys, man, that's awesome, Randy, awesome guy, man, he's an awesome guy, uh, Marvel Legends, I don't know anybody in, Mar in <laughs> Marvel Legends team, but hey, whatever, so let's put these guys on the side, and let's talk about something else that these figures from, um, from Savage Crucible come with, and that's a really cool thing. And let me put this guy right here and let's open the space and let's put this guy. That was my first guy. So let's put him in the middle. You are the rock star right here, my friend. So every single figure and accessory pack from Savage Crucible comes with something really, really awesome and is cards. Yes, cards that you use to play yeah this is a card game so one of the cool things about this is now people on the groups uh, around the, the internet they're trading cards like the old times trading cards because they're different ones and i think um Man, one of the guys that is kind of like giving everybody heads up and giving all the information about it is um, William from Dork Layer. Bill. Yes. So awesome guy. Checked his channel because he's one of the amazing best channels and YouTube to reviews and very informative. If you want to know everything about Savage Crucible, about Mythic Legions, go to Dork Layer. Bill is like an encyclopedia walking right there so um pretty cool you have all the things here that you can do with the figures and all the senses languages challenge 
aquatic adaptation, best boat health, man, tolonet fingers, actions, man, everything, and you have all the the kind of like specific stuff for every single character. And I believe there are like 15, also you have objects that you can use on the game. I don't know anything about the game. I believe the team is gonna explain this down the road. And uh, you have some potions and stuff. This is a potion, Hitty Herbal Concussion. Wow, that's crazy. So pretty cool because this card right here, you have a version that is foil. Uh, and let me show you, uh, I have two of them, which are the rare ones, so right here, look at this, pretty awesome, pretty awesome, so you have a regular card, I think there are 15 regular cards and 15 foil cards, so far as I know, maybe wrong, I don't know, but that's cool, that's awesome, that Savage Crucible team make this possible and that's really really awesome. They have also uh, Coins uh, and those coins I bet they're gonna have some meeting. I mean, I remember when the line started uh, William sent coins to everybody who supported him before he started Savage Crucible and I was one of the lucky ones who got a coin from him because I was buying um, his uh, custom weapons and accessories for mythic legions really really cool so there you go guys i mean this was kind of like a review kind of like walk around my savage crucible collection and and talking about mixing and matching toy lines which is there's nothing wrong with that guys just enjoy your action figures just look at my toy room i have Marvel Legends, Super 7, YOLO Park, Masco 112, Mayfax, I have some Asian um, Captain Harlock spaceships there, Mazinger Z, some Bandai stuff, NECA, you name it, I have everything, uh, I mean, Joy Toy, now I'm collecting big time Joy Toy for Warhammer, Mortal Kombat, Jada Toys, man, McFarland Toys, pretty much everything i collect everything i like uh, i don't have like a specific line that i collect because whatever i like i take from the shelf and buy it whatever i see on the internet that is kind of like cool i just buy it because i just enjoy collecting and that's pretty much my go-to when it's like here like in my toy room how i collect what i collect it's pretty much that you know i enjoy collecting i enjoy the community and I think we have a very, very, very rich community. Uh, the indie community with action figures is really, really awesome right now. I think this is the time for the indie companies to like shine. So there you go, guys. Um, that's it um, pretty much. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, thank you so much for um, subscribing to my YouTube channel. Please share subscribe like if you like if not well it is what it is and um, and you know be safe stay safe as always uh, yeah and enjoy collecting action figures that's the, the main thing be positive guys uh, there's too much negativity in this world and i just want to put a little bit of like you know positivity in the toy community pretty much uh, i have friends everywhere i man i i love the community you name it like all these communities in facebook i'm part of the motu facebook groups mythic legion savage crucible mondo man everything so yeah there you go guys so thank you so much i don't want to take more time i want to play with these guys right here i'm going to take some photos and place with them right here in my table so there you go guys thank you so much for watching and talk to you later Bye. And I'm sorry, guys, I got caught into the hype of everything and excited at the same time. But, but, yes, I mentioned there's something like some stuff that you may like or not like about the, the line. And I'm always critical about it. Doesn't matter if, if you're my friend or not. I'm always 
um, I always tend to say the truth about stuff, and and that's one of the things that is part of my character. So this is something that is not happening that much to me, but I seen some people saying that the actual problem with um, maybe wave one is like the toe articulation, and I'm gonna give you the solution that I got on these figures. Like as you can see, I can stand them like pretty good. Uh, I am having no problems whatsoever, in like including Nim Vinimer, which is the most heavy, top heavy one. If you can see, let me move this guy out of the way. If you can see, he can stand perfectly, and I. I've been doing the video the whole time with no problem and I'm not using the tail or anything. So pretty much what I did with these figures was I, um, some people said, yes, the, the toy, the toe joint is way too long and it's weak to hold the weight on the figures. Well, I try always to balance my figures the most I can, but I give you a solution. I got this Kiki. Yes. Kiki fix loose joints. You can buy this online. You can buy this, I think, Amazon. And yeah, I bought this one on Amazon or uh, eBay. You can get it on eBay. So it's pretty much what I understand, or I don't know if some people told me, uh, it's kind of like super glue mixed with water or something like that. Uh, but it works perfectly. And the joints, they work perfectly. It doesn't matter. Like you just put that on the figure and what it does is like kind of like tight the joint a little bit more so you can see the joint is a little bit tight but it move like you can see it move perfectly it just put some tightness on the joint which is what you really want with these figures and uh, i have no problem with the ankles ankles are perfect and it's just that and kiki solve everything i mean some of the figures were totally fine I'm gonna be honest with you. I have the problem maybe with this one and la, 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 let me see. And I think with the Royal Guard, pretty much. But I put the Kiki on them and, and that's it. Problem solved. And you can see I'm not using the tail to balance them or anything like that. They're standing perfectly by their by their own, like right there. You see? Boom. No effort whatsoever. So there you go, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Talk to you later.